Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we will review about the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 7th generation. It is priced at 10 triple in Amazon, but I recently got this gift uh, from my sister. Uh, in comparison with a physical book of around 350 pages and 30 mm thick, imagine having a dedicated ebook reader which is less than half its thickness and it's equivalent of storing 1000 ebooks. You don't need to worry about losing the book or damaging the book because it always stays safe with this uh, portable, comfortable, uh, lightweight, thin and elegantly designed Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 7th generation. Let's uh, explore it further. Here's the device and it comes with a 6 inch paper white glare free 300 pixel per inch screen with built in backlight support and e-paper technology. You will see thick bezels all around the uh, screen and especially at the bottom you will find it uh, very comfortable to hold uh, the Kindle even with one hand. On the sides and on the top you will not see any buttons at all. On the bottom however you will see the uh, charging port here. Let me uh, focus on this area. Here you go. This is a charging port and there is a power button. Apart from it, there is no button at all. On the back of the Kindle, you will see the Amazon logo with the uh, arrow going from A to C. This uh, Kindle runs on a single core ARM Cortex A8 processor clocked at 800 MHz coupled with uh, 256 MB of RAM. It holds a uh, 1420 um, milliamp lithium polymer battery and it uh, lasts for weeks. It uh, is around 9.1 mm thick and it doesn't weigh uh, heavy at all at just 205 grams. So that's about uh, the exterior of this Kindle. Let's get in. Okay, so let's power this device on here. Here you go. This is how it looks. So let's look into various options here. Here's the home button. Here's the uh, back button and uh, here's the settings option you can uh, turn on and off the airplane mode you can sync your uh, kindle with other devices and you can select the brightness so right now it is in zero brightness and uh, the maximum brightness is 24 for this video i'll keep this uh, brightness to the maximum so uh, you see the my account option the wireless which is connected to my mobile hotspot uh, under device option, you will see the device passcode, the device time you can set and it has information about your device which has a firmware version of Kindle 5.8.5.0.2 and it has a free space available of 2790 MB. And you can restart the device, reset your device under advanced option, you can delete Wi-Fi passwords, you can uh, uh, have uh, the Whisper Sync for Books uh, enabled which has certain additional features uh, apart from uh, including syncing your device location from this device across other devices. I'll keep this enabled. And you can uh, uh, control how your home screen, home screen looks like. Let's go back. Here there is something called reading options. So this option refreshes uh, every page as you turn them. So I have turned it off for now. And uh, this displays an option to buy the next title in the series when reading the end of the book. I have turned it off too. The language learning. This is a very important tool and a very uh, useful tool. So it shows easy hints about unfamiliar words when available. And you can control how many hints do you need on a uh, any given page. Language is set to US English and vocabulary builder. So when you select certain word, when you highlight certain word uh, in a particular book, it will show you the synonym and that word gets added to the vocabulary builder for later reference. Popular highlights. So it displays the passages that are most frequently highlighted by other Kindle users. Same with public notes and uh, about this book. This, this shows the information, basic information about the book when you uh, open it for the first time. Let's go back and uh, here's the language in dictionaries. Language is, uh, as we have seen, we have set it to English United States and uh, keyboards. There are multiple keyboards available. For now, we will just go with the US one. And the dictionaries, I have set it to the default new Oxford American Dictionary. And there's something called parental controls, uh, which uh, helps you to restrict the use of experimental web browser, Kindle Store, Cloud and 
good reads on kindle for now i have uh, left them on because i have no reason to turn them off at this point uh, here is a Goodreads account. I've already configured it and uh, here you will see the update uh, if, if any of your friends wants to read some book or is currently reading or wrote a review or made progress with it, it shows up here. And just like your uh, physical shelf, you can arrange the e-shelf uh, in this fashion. And uh, based on your choice, uh, the Goodreads uh, uh, recommends you certain books uh, which will appear here. Uh, if, you, if you say want to read, then when you go to updates, it will say Ram wants to read. For now, I'll go and hmm, delete this comment. And here are uh, my friends on Goodreads. So when you go to the uh, Amazon uh, Kindle, uh, Amazon dot in Kindle store, you'll see uh, various uh, options for you to select various categories and various books. There's something called Kindle Unlimited. You will get access to over 1 million titles at just 150 a month. Say if I want to uh, try this sample, you can click on it. It is processing and they are sending the sample and it will automatically appear on the home screen when the download is complete. Okay, so let's uh, read a book. So when I open a book, this is exactly where I have uh, left off the last time. Let's look into various options available. From display settings, you can display the, you can actually select the font among the eight available fonts here. Bookerly is most widely used, so I've kept it that way. Page, so you can control the spacing, margins and orientations like you can control the you know spacing between sentences i would uh, prefer this one margins this one is perfect orientation you can read this way as well reading progress location in book see here it show page in the book time left in chapter time left in book you want to make it disappear you can click on none for now i'll keep this option if you want to know the synonym of a particular word you simply highlight it and the synonym appears just like that here you go and all these words get added to the vocabulary builder which is here these are all the words that i have searched so far for synonyms and uh, we spoke about word wise earlier Let's explore it. So if I click on show, it will automatically show the synonym of the difficult words, as you can see here. And you can control how many hints you want per page. Automatically, the sentence uh, uh, spacing increases when you select this mode. Okay, let's hide it again. Let's see uh, what other options are available. You can share it with uh, email, Goodreads, share it to Facebook, Twitter, etc. And also you can bookmark the uh, page. And uh, you can go to uh, directly um, a chapter, you can navigate between various chapters, say I go here. Okay. And also there is something called uh, Sync to furthest page read so this is the retrieving the furthest page read. so you are currently at the furthest page read x-ray gives uh, about uh, i mean uh, talks about the skeleton structure of the book the terms used the people uh, in reference and notable clips by other kindle users and highlights i do not find anything negative in particular about this kindle except the absence of an adaptive light sensor and a page press uh, but then uh, Considering uh, its price range of just 10 triple nine, it, it's pretty much worth it because uh, the next uh, version of the Kindle called Kindle Voyage, uh, which is priced at 16,500, uh, has those features. So you, you end up saving uh, around 5,500. Um, but if you're looking for an excellent battery life, an excellent screen that is 300 pixel per inch screen, and 
uh, backlight support this is one of the best Kindle available in the market so you could go for it so with this I conclude my review about the Amazon Kindle uh, Paperwhite 7th generation see you in the next video bye bye